Hey guys, Harsh from Shout Me Loud and welcome to another video episode of vlogging and today we'll be talking about AdSense. So this video is for the beginners who just started using AdSense or about to use AdSense and a lot of my readers requested to do a video, show them how to create an ad. So let's assume you are one of those bloggers who just got an AdSense approval or applied for AdSense and this video is specifically for you. So once you have an approved AdSense account, or once you apply for AdSense, you need to create a new ad and add that code on your blog. So I'll show you how to do that and it's fairly easy. And once you understand the interface, it will be the same. Uh, maybe in future, the interface may change, but the process is going to be the same. So I'll log into your AdSense account, I'll click on my ads, click on add unit. So I already have few ads which are created. Uh, you can click on new ad unit. So there are like various ad size that you can use and create an ad. Uh, what I recommend use responsive ad so that ad would be displayed according to the screen size and you would not have, uh, you not miss out on the revenue. And so click on the responsive one, uh, which is selected. Uh, you have an option to select between text and display ads. I would recommend uh, select both though, depending upon the blog that you have, you can only show text ad, you can show display ads, but the good idea is use both the ads so that your ad fill rate would be higher. It would be typically 100%. You can customize the ad style. There are like few templates that you can choose from or you can actually customize it according to your blog design color that you're using. So I'll just keep it default. Now this is very interesting. So a good idea is when you're creating a new ad type, always create new custom channel or if you already have a custom channel, add include that in that custom channel. So it serves a lot of purpose, which I'll explain in upcoming videos. So for this, let's say I'm creating it for Shout Me Hindi. Since you're creating it for the first time, just click on create new custom channel, give it some name, let's say G users. And this is one option that you should not miss. Make sure that you have selected targeting. Okay. Set it to add appears on all the pages. This description part is very important because when an advertiser searches for ad or plan to advertise on your blog, whatever it's written here, that's what they would see. So, you know, you have to think from the advertisement buyer perspective, what are they looking for? So, you know, whatever your blog is about, you should mention it here. And a good idea is, you know, like you should try to sell your ad spot. So a good idea is write about what is the value that you create. So let's say a blog targeted So depending upon, you know, the kind of blog you have, write a good description, your site language, whatever it is, and click on save. So that is how you create a new custom channel and do that. If you have not done that for your earlier ad units, you can still go back and create a new custom channel. This is where you would click create a new custom channel and add all the ad units. So for this, I'll select Shout Me Hindi and save and get good. I forgot to add the name. So name would be shout me Hindi. Give it a meaningful name so that you can remember what this ad is about. So let's say this ad I'm going to place on the header. So I'll just give in the SMH that's for my blog responsive and header. So it will be easier for me to understand when I'm seeing all the ad units to understand which ad I'm looking at. And I'll show you how that works in a bit. So that's it and click on save and get code. So this is the code that you need to add on your blog. Now you can use a lot of free WordPress plugins out there. If you're on Blogspot, it's still easy to add. So all you need to do is just place this code on your blog and that's it. Uh, Google will take care of displaying ads. You don't have to worry about anything else. All you need to focus after this is driving more targeted traffic and make more money. Of course, there are optimization tips which you can do to further improve your earning. So there is one good post which I have written and I've added the link in the description that would help you. So I'm skipping that part. If you need help with that, let me know in the comment section. I'll point you in the right direction. So close now. Th and this is what I was talking about. Like, so whatever ad unit I create, give it a meaningful name. So I would know like on which blog that ad is running and what is the ad size. So these are the ad unit, which I created long back, back in 2002 or 2011. 
and this is how you create a new ad unit a new ad for your blog and i hope this helped you and if you have any question regarding creating ad units let me know what is the next video you want me to do on adsense do let me know that also and i'll see you in upcoming videos if you enjoyed this video do like and subscribe to my channel bye bye